This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2001 Ford F-350 Crew Cab Long Bed, 7.3 liter turbo diesel, four wheel drive. It's an XLT, which is cloth. This truck has 237,300 miles. It was a dealer trade-in to a new car dealer in Phoenix. Um, this truck came to Tucson. We did our two hour inspection. And as you can see by the pictures, we give you a four before pictures before it uh, leaves the previous owner and you'll see that it's lifted and it has different wheels and tires the lift kit uh, our little two-hour inspection is very extensive and the lift on the truck was very unsafe um, very unprofessionally installed and the motor was bad uh, it still ran and you could drive it but it had bad compression in the cylinder so basically we stole the motor from our beautiful shop truck, which is a 7.3 obviously, and put it in this truck. While it was on the ground, the motor we took out of the shop truck, we did a compression test on it on the ground, got a starter on it and compression tested. It was great. Um, it got new Rotella oil and a filter, uh, new coolant, and it's in this truck now. And our shop truck now has a miss. <laughs> but since it's only going two or three miles a day, that's okay. Um, this was the only truck worthy of doing that too and so we did it um, we also lowered it made it uh, the right height uh, got a nice set of used tires that we had uh, for it and this is what our inspection looks like and usually this section should be a lot less than it is when it's this deep it means we spent a fortune and when we spend a fortune it's because we like something and a 7.3 4x4 is something we have to save uh, they're like an endangered species so we have to save them Anyway, uh, this one got uh, four new shocks. All shocks are new. It got uh, steering stabilizer, which I'll show you in a second. It got uh, sway bar uh, links. There's your shocks. Here are the used tires. We've had these sitting inside our, our uh, parts shed for a long time, waiting for the right vehicle, and this was the right vehicle. They're not new, but they're pretty nice tires. 50-60% uh, tread. Um, Shackle brackets, which are part of the, the suspension also, are new. There's your uh, new steering strut. Cosmetically, it's not perfect. It's got some dings and dents and attempted touch-ups, mostly on the bedside. The, from the, the cab forward is pretty good. The bedside's got some roughage. The uh, tailgate was a disaster, so it got a new tailgate, uh, a louver tailgate. Um, let's see what else we got here uh, got an ICP it got a new clock spring uh, new carrier bearing uh, all four door lock actuators are new door locks didn't work um, let's see what else did it get it got uh, new coolant louver tailgate ICP um, so I'm just gonna start from the top here four shocks steering stabilizer sway bar links shackle brackets um, all four door lock actuators. Uh, it got brake pads also. Uh, carrier bearing, clock spring, Rotella oil and filter. Um, let's see, what else? ICP, louver tailgate. And it got our shop truck's motor, which is painful. But uh, if you're going to sacrifice, this is the rig you sacrifice for. So that's what happened. It's got a light package for the trailer. It's got a decent spare. New shocks back here. Used to have a fifth wheel hitch in it. Actually a gooseneck is what that would be. My brother will take this thing out for uh, 50 or 60 HD pictures. There'll be a little device that'll allow you to zoom in on uh, anything you want to see cosmetically. So there should be absolutely no surprise. It's really cool. I mean, you could, you know, even see leaks with that with that thing. Uh, so please use that. Um, it's a pretty cool little device, and it saves a lot of uh, surprises if you use it correctly. If you uh, use it and. Uh, look over the pictures and there won't be any surprises. So we really encourage you to do that.
that's brand new too. The coolant reservoir is brand new, I can tell you that right now. So we probably put a new, we did put a new one of those on there. Um, there's your uh, Ford stamp here. demonstrate the windows. The seats look great. What happened was some junior repair guy owned this truck and just hammered it. Didn't do the motor any favors. Put a horrible lift kit on it. Uh, which is basically the next guy's game because we righted all the wrongs that was done that were done to this truck. So now it's uh, good to go. I mean, that lift, I mean, I'm surprised that guy didn't kill himself with it. I mean, it was really poorly done on really bad wheels and tires. It was just a mess. Unlock the windows. It's, there's a passenger window, passenger rear window, driver rear window, and driver window. He also had all these chrome things on the door handles, and it was just a mess. There's some door locks. So anyway, we brought this thing all the way back so that we could sell it to somebody and not kill a 7.3. All right, all this power seat things work. There was a little tear from right here to here, which our mobile repair guy came in and fixed. It goes from right here to here. Other than that, it looks great. Here, there's no surprises there. Trailer brake control here. Not sure if that works or not. That was not our install, so assume it doesn't because whoever owned this truck before was an absolute knucklehead. All right, let's see. I'll put on my seatbelt here. All right. Radio works fine, got a CD player, got the air blowing right now. I'm not sure what this bracket's for. To neutral, put it into four low. Now we're in four low. Put it into drive. There's drive. That's definitely four low. And reverse. This reminds me, my guy said that we couldn't, I guess that the steering wheel is off center by a little bit, which happens when we fix the suspension. We took it to Pep Boys and they said it was too long to get on their rack. Now we're in four high. So we're still in the midst of trying to get somebody who can. Uh, get this guy on their uh, alignment rack which is interesting because uh, it's not really that it's any I don't know what pep boys they must have a new tech or something but we'll get to the bottom of that I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna test the parking sensors which I would be shocked if they worked because 
they were famous for not working back in the day. They work. Hello. There you go. Wow. Some things happened that are surprising, and that was one of them. Anyway, uh, let's see the steering's like this. It drives straight, but uh, the steering wheel's off, which uh, requires an alignment. And apparently, the new Pep Boys tech says we can't do it, even though we've been doing it there for years. So, new cook in the kitchen at Pep Boys um, equals that. So, um, what else? Um, if you come here to Tucson to drive it home, you're going to pay tax and dock fees. Dock fees are $250. Taxes are 2% city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. So if your state tax rate is 3% and you come to Tucson to drive it home, you're going to pay a total of 5% taxes and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, all you pay is the agreed upon price, no dock fee, no taxes. That's good. Um, once we get this thing aligned, it'll help. But uh, we did not replace the steering box in this truck. The steering gear boxes under these things are about 300 bucks. Um, it wasn't that bad, but it's still, when you put a lift on them, it always throws them off and makes them not nearly as tight. So it's fairly loose in the steering. If you wanted a, st a steering box, it's about 350 bucks and a couple hours of labor. It doesn't need one. What it really just needs right now is an alignment to keep the steering wheel centered. But if you want us to do it, throw in another 500 bucks and we'll put a steering box on it. But uh, even that won't, it, it, it's a Ford. <laughs> and you know, if you watch Top Gear, they took a brand new Ford out, Ford truck out, and uh, Jeremy Clarkson, the star of the show, took it out and he said, I'm all over the road. <laughs> it's a Ford. <laughs> so, you know, uh, when you've got a Ford that's been altered and lifted and, and whatnot, uh, you've got a loose steering box, you know, you're, it's just loose. That's all there is to it. So, even though it's got new shocks, brand new suspension, uh, to finish it off, you might want to get a gearbox. If you get a steering box on it, uh, we'll do it for 500 bucks, which is really cheap. Um, or you can do it yourself. It's really not that hard to do. Um, but that'll probably take 50% of it out. Um, the rest of it's just being a Ford. Okay? Let's see. Uh, next. Uh, deposit. Please get your deposit in. Deposit is $500. Once we have your deposit, uh, we will put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelconnects.com and you'll know it's yours. Until then, it is for sale. Um, the last thing I'm going to say, and this is obvious, um, this car is out of warranty. If the engineers at Ford could give a, give a truck, or this truck, a 20-year, 500,000-mile warranty, they would have, and they would have sold a zillion of these things for $200,000 a piece. People would love that warranty. They couldn't because they just don't know what's going to happen, okay? So, if they don't know what's going to happen and they built it, there's no way we can know what's going to happen. Um, the point of our ads is to be brutally, brutally honest. And being brutally honest means telling you what we know and what we don't know. Uh, I've told you what we've done to the truck. I've told you what we know. What I don't know is what's going to happen to it uh, next week or next year, okay? Or tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. Um, we know what a 7.3 is famous for. We know that the 7.3 in this one is a good one because we had it out on the ground and compression tested it, and it was fabulous. Um, and we serviced it and blah, blah, blah. That being said, it doesn't mean it's not going to need an injector next week or, you know, something soon. You, we just don't know. So there's risk involved. Uh, so if you don't like risk, buy a new one and... You're probably going to pay for this model in a new diesel somewhere around 45 or 50 grand. Okay, and then you've got warranty for three years, peace of mind, and after that three years, you're going to owe 30 or 40 grand. That's the truth. So some of the money you saved here is going to have to go into your mind as some money that you're going to have to spend on a repair sooner or later. Anyway, that's my speech. Thank you for your time.